shout out to Mr. Nebo for giving the one mil donation on my 99 smithing day. I pretty much just logged on and he knew today was the day. So thanks, Mr. Nebo. All right, we can get one more farm run in before we get 99 smithing today. And this is a big level, guys. It's a big level. Nice. All right, let's go get 99 smithing. All right, we are here at the anvil for Thurgo for 99 smithing. This quarantine project of 99 smithing has taken probably a little over three and a half to four weeks. Um, so we're finally making it. Um, I appreciate knowledge. Uh, he bought me my 99 cape. Usually I buy two. Uh, one for the placeholder, so now I'll have, well, probably two, and I'll just bank the 99k for the next uh, 99 that we get. Maybe it'll be prayer, maybe it'll be something random like fletching or cooking. Uh, I'm not quite sure if we're going to start into prayer immediately afterwards, but now that we have this 99 uh, rune two-hander method unlocked and we can make upwards of, what, 600k an hour? Um, I'll be able to work slowly to build the cash stack to afford the 99 prayer. I know you guys are pretty anxious for me to get uh, prayer training underway, so I hope to get that in the next uh, few weeks going. So maybe the next episode, there'll be some prayer training. Heck, I might even get some prayer training done in this episode. I don't know. Uh, so for 99 smithing, uh, I did try to record as much of it as I could. Uh, I did start off with the tourist trap. Uh, we all remember how many times I died and how frustrated that uh, quest, you know, caused me to be, only to come to find out I didn't actually need to kill it uh, pretty much at all. Uh, so always watch your tips and tricks videos before you do the quest. Don't just follow the quest guide. There's probably a better way to do it on a level three. Uh, I think I rushed... 35 smithing after that for steel dart tips and those are pretty profitable i think those are the most profitable uh dart tips of all um the dart tips that you can smith at any given level um, as the dart tips go up in rank you get more xp but less profit you have to start buying you know at certain prices and selling them off a little bit more slowly in order to gain pretty much any profit um, so we just progressed. We slowly did steel dart tips. I think I did 35 to 58 or 60 in a single night, which was crazy. Um, and then we continued on to mithril dart tips all the way up to adamant dart tips. And we did that all the way up to 97. So let's, I guess here's 99 smithing, which is fantastic. Uh, selling lobsters 12 GP. Okay, sir. Uh, I will take all those lobsters from you. Um, I have 99k to spare, and now I have an amazing moneymaker unlocked. Uh, for 97 to 99, uh, I actually did rush uh, the XP because, what is it, 2.3 mil XP I think you need for the two levels? Uh, that would have taken me ages with Addy Dart Tips, and I wasn't sure if the quarantine would even last this long. Um, it did, unfortunately, but I went ahead and I think I spent 1.8 mil, 1.9 mil, to get the last two levels. Uh, so overall, I profited about six mil doing 99 smithing, um, just over the course of, like I said, maybe three and a half weeks or so, just in, I say free time, but usually I, I just AFK'd while I was at work. It was pretty nice and relaxing actually. So it doesn't take any money to get started in smithing. I know I hear a lot of people saying, oh, I can't do smithing, it, it's so expensive. Well, no, you can get the XP, you can. Just got a find alternative methods. Shout out to District 3, the clan chat, for coming in and showing support. There was a lot of smithing buddies that, you know, helped me on my way to 99 smithing, and they basically lived at the anvil as long as I did. So I'll see you guys back there uh, someday, maybe with some better fashionscape. All right, we got our 99 smithing, we got our fashionscape pretty much set, so it's time to go and join the clan in celebrating other... Uh, Clanmates' 99 parties. So, congrats to a salty trout on his 99 cooking, fantastic name, and level tree killer uh, for 99 fishing. 
So two things that I will not be achieving for a little while. So congrats to you guys. Uh, the CC really showed up and, you know, showed their support, which was fantastic. Plus, I enjoyed it being so close to the anvil for the cooking uh, party. <laughs> I was doing room two-handers, and I could just pop on by, show my support, and back to making money we go. All right, we've been playing for about 30 minutes. We got four lamps already. Uh, unfortunately, I think it's going to take eight to get us from 27 to 30. Uh, ooh, good, more big bones. Add to the collection 600 big ones. Soon, I'm going to start prayer just to make it maybe like a nice even like 50 or 60 prayer just so I don't have four combat anymore. But these lamps are really going to help because once I get 30, I can do like uh, already easy, get the cape. It's a nice teleport. Plus it gives me, I think, a thousand K uh, XP lamp, which will also be nice and kind of, man, I wish I started Hunter. I could get that impling. Uh, but for the time being, while rune two-handers aren't buying and selling, I'm just going to be doing this and getting as many lamps as I can. All right, so I am going to clear out the inventory just a little bit to make this a bit more efficient, but it's time to start training prayer. Our first prayer level has been achieved. You all can go comment in the comment box below. Congrats on 12 prayer, you amazing prayer pure you. Uh, now let's see how many uh, slayer levels we get off of these lamps. Um, so if I did math correctly, which is not often the case, it should be 29 and pretty close to 30. Okay, so yes, we got that. And then one more. All right. Okay, so now 30, 100 and so, okay. All right, so one more lamp um, and we'll see. That'll be 30 Slayer and we'll see if we switch gears and go grind out the diaries. All right, so change of plans. We're actually going to go for 33 Slayer just in one go for the Bug Swarm Lantern. And then I'm going to be going for Thieving because my buddy Milky Mel over here said with my RNG lamp drop, uh, I should be able to get a pet pretty soon. And he chose Thieving as the skill. So if I get the Rocky pet, it's all thanks to this dude. Appreciate it. All right, guys, this is me from the future. I just wanted to throw into this part of the video. Don't spend the three and a half hours uh, here cleaning finds like I did to get to 33 Slayer. It's not worth it for the fashion scape, guys. Just boost with a wild pie. It, you're still able to equip the bug lantern. I didn't know that at the time of this uh, recording, but I wish I had. It would have saved me, like I said, about three hours. Uh, my RNG just tanked after the first few levels. Uh, I guess they wanted to stall my XP. I was getting too many gains. Okay, so apparently the Bug Lantern requires 33 fire making to light it. So that means I need to go train up uh, some fire making. Thankfully, I have just a few logs in my bank already. So I guess we'll begin this grind. All right, coming at three fire making. Uh, well, three fire. Come on, light the log. Light the log, come on. These early fire making levels go by so painfully slow, you guys. Can't imagine doing this to 99 like I did back in the RS2. Come on, eventually we'll get three, I swear. There we go, that's it. All right, the fire making levels are coming in nicely. That is 20 fire making. Only 13 more to go. All right, 33 fire making, which means we can light this stupid lantern that all I need it for is, is fashion scape. But that's important to a skiller. Gotta have fashion scape on point. I don't know if we're quite there yet in fashion scape land, but we're, we're progressing. It's getting better. And before you roast me in the comments section for terrible fashion scape. All right, I thought I would end off this video with some luck based content instead of just bash my head against an anvil for 99 smithing content. Uh, so I did some early thieving, because I was promised a rocky pet, so I figured, eh, might as well go try to get that rocky pet. Um, or at least get some uh, easy caskets, easy clue scroll caskets, maybe get some type of 
rare fashion scape uh, reward, or I could just sell it in the GE and make some money. That would be nice too. Uh, it took me, honestly, it took me probably an hour to get all five of these uh, caskets. I did have to drop a few of the clues um, because I couldn't wear certain requirements. All right, time to open up the first uh, few caskets. Okay, not terrible, 2.6K. Some purple sweets, 9K, seriously? How much are these things even worth? Dang. Okay, guys, we got a page. Ancient page, studded chaps. These chests are getting better and better. I'm eventually gonna get like Cape of Skulls or something. Black plate, some lumberyard teleports, 118K. You know what, this is actually pretty good. Dude, look at this. You know what? Five clues, not terrible. Not terrible at all. That was the wrong button. There you go. 300K. Excellent. 